Machiavellian is Illuminati, all through your body The blow's like a 12 gauge shot it In regards to my relationship with Tupac Special And um It was very uh com complicated. Have you have been able to close some open wounds that were left in regards to my relationship to Pac. Yeah. Yo, YouTube, what up? It's homie Gab, I'm in the building. <clears throat> Top of the morning. What's poppin', what's poppin'? <clears throat> Yo, Jada Pinkett and August Alcina is <laughs> pretty much got the internet in an uproar. Now, I took my time before I made this video. I took my time with it. Because I, I I try not to be messy, you know what I mean? I try not to, to air a lot of people's dirty laundry out there like that. But some things is just worth talking about. And out of respect for, you know, the loss of Nipsey Hussle the Great, I took a break from all my Tupac-related videos for the last couple of days so Nipsey could get the coverage and the full attention that he deserved at this time. Rest in peace one more time to the young king, Nipsey Hussle. But my Tupac Nation is always yearning to hear a Tupac-related story or something about the homie Tupac. So we back at it like a crack addict. All right, we back at it this morning. Now, about two years ago, when word had first broke about Jada Pinkett's relationship with August Alcina, she summed it up as he's like the new Tupac in her life. She said it's a spiritual connection, it's a it's a you know sibling connection, you know it's deeper than the friendships. You know this guy actually reminds her of Tupac in the vein of a special type friend. He's filled the void that Tupac left in August Alcina. By the way, who's a, you know, a much younger singer slash entertainer. August is like in his 20s, maybe early 30s, at, you know, the latest. But I believe he's in his 20s. And Jada's well in her, into her 40s at this point. And their relationship blossomed to the point where August Alcina was actually moved into their home. He lived with the Smiths. You know, some people were saying he was like a big brother to Jaden and to Willow. And he loved, you know, being a part of this family. And, you know, him and Jada would take private vacations and 
There's pictures with August Alcina and Will Smith. Will Smith got his arm around him. So, you know, maybe August was just like one of their kids. Just like one of their kids. They, they got a third son now. August. Right? From the outside. Wait. Hold up in my Nick Dog voice. Wait. For the niggas that be thinking we soft. We don't. Yo, check this out. August Arsena just put out a song in like the last week or two. Talking about how this lady played with his heart and she worried about who he can with now and he loved her and he was the man that truly loved her. She didn't care about his feelings and when she said she loved him, maybe it was just the act because she is an actress. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah. And he did a video for it. And when he got to that part in the song, he showed a picture of Jada. What the fuck is going on? Now, a lot of y'all looking at the screen like, God, are you surprised? Doesn't Will and Jada have an open marriage? And you know, there's, there's a lot of couples that have open marriages. But the thing is, they don't want the world to know about it. And... And if they do broadcast it to the world, they damn sure don't want the other people telling, putting them on blast. Have you ever heard a woman come out and say she slept with Will Smith? Even though I'm sure they have. Have you ever heard somebody come out and say it, though? If that's the case, I'm sure that's not Jada's first friend. But have you ever heard anybody come out and say it? August Arsena is putting them on full blast. So now Jada's backtracking, trying to give the origin to their relationship. Well, the truth of the matter was he was addicted to painkillers and I wanted to help the young man get off of drugs. And that's the real reason I moved him into our home. I was just doing the right thing, the good Christian thing. Something ain't adding up, y'all. Something ain't adding up. You know, they say August had put a post up on Jada's birthday. Put a post up on his on his social media. And it was so deep and so so well thought that even Stevie Wonder could see this nigga was in love. You know, that nigga probably at home listening to that Carl Thomas shit. And I wish I never met her. Oh. <laughs> That's about being in love with a married woman. You know, the songs go, the list go on, me and Mrs. Jones and all that shit. The thing was, it's cool to play cat and mouse when you the cat. But you can't play cat and mouse when you the mouse because you can't quit until the cat ready to quit. And sometimes the mouse ain't ready for it to be over. Now, August was the boy toy. He was fun for a minute. You know, Jada was having her way with it. He was having his way with her, obviously. But if he thought she was going to leave Will Smith for him and all the financial security Will Smith bring. You know, Jada said she told Will before, you could be done with me. You could, you could have another girlfriend. But you ain't breaking his family up. What we do in this house is going to stay in this house. No matter what we decide to do. And she said on her new show that she got with her mom and I believe that's her daughter. That Will got his side of the house and she got hers. Now, I don't know what kind of fucking marriage that is. That's some new school shit. But that's what that's what we doing now. That's what niggas doing with their wives now. Hey. <laughs> Uncool. But I said all of these things to ask you this. If she said August Alcina has replaced the Tupac void in her life, you know, just a friend, sibling type situation, and we find out later they fucking, did that mean that um, Jada was jumping up and down on Pac joystick? All right? Hey, wasn't that the big, the million dollar question that everybody been wanting to know? That she would never just come out and say yay or nay and she had Tupac like August. And Tupac was writing thoughtful letters and 
deep poetry over her. Even rumored to put some of his his lyrics and some of his music was about her. So I'm like, Jada, what's good? I mean, you know, you 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 have fuck buddies. That's that's what we into, Miss Pinky. You know, and I'm from Baltimore, so I, you know, hopefully one day I get a chance to run across Jada, and this ain't no disrespect. I didn't put your shit out there. August put your shit out there. And you know, a lot of times, man, us, us doing our little work on YouTube, people act as if you made the stuff up. <laughs> I Like, I'll put the guy that looked like Tupac in the Fuji's video. I did that. I'll put him in there. Excuse me, guys. What was I thinking? Oh, I, I, I made up the fact that Wyclef said he met with Tupac in Europe. Wyclef didn't say it. I said it. No. Wyclef said he met with Tupac in Europe. Not I. Oh, yeah. And I said that over 700 Haitians seen Tupac in Europe. I mean, in Haiti, excuse me. 700 Haitians say they seen Tupac at one time. I didn't make that up. I just presented it to you. Don't get mad at, at us when we pick up on something and we just show it to you. Hey, what y'all think about this? I never come to you as fact. But if I find something I think you'll be interested in, it would behoove me to present it to you. And that's how it should be. Now, I don't touch every story I hear because some things ain't worth the views. It ain't worth the headache. It ain't worth the amount of attention. You wouldn't believe the type of shit I get via email, via my social media. People really bring me shit. And I have to, you know, be judgmental about what I believe in as far as my values and, 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 you know, and the things that, you know, my standards before I convey it to you because it could represent and look poorly on my behalf, straight up. And like I say, sometimes all, all attention ain't good attention. Some niggas feel like bad attention, any attention is good attention. I don't feel like that. I don't because I didn't do this. I didn't start doing this for attention in the first place, straight up. I don't give a fuck what you think. I had other motives and it wasn't intention. When I started my YouTube career, it was to promote my own music. I made some videos about Tupac as a fan and people responded to him and was like, yo, to the point where that's all they wanted to hear from me. So don't get mad because the people chose me. You know what I mean? I didn't wake up and say, hey, I want to be a YouTuber to only talk about Tupac. It was not the case. But anyway, back back to the story. Back back to this story. I got some questions for y'all. Do you think August Alcina was really, you know, giving the vitamin D to Jada in the house? And Will knew about it? Will was cool with it? Or did Will think that, yeah, that's just her little brother. She's just looking out for him. Hey, you guys. Hey, why don't you, hey, why don't you guys go to the movie? Hey, take my credit card, Jada. Take August to the movie. Do you really think Will is blindsided by all of this shit? And is August wrong for putting that relationship out there like that? Should, you know, if he had a, you know, a relationship with Jada under any capacity, should he have just kept it like it was, kept it in the dark? Or did that man get caught up in his feelings? The only way he can get her back is putting her out there and embarrassing her like that. In front of her children, you know what I mean? Was Will really walking past the bedroom and hear the bed making noise and say, All right, you guys in there, no more pillow fighting. You guys knock it off in there. It's, All right, kids, have a good night. It's, I mean, this man can't be that fucking blind, man. And the last question once again. Is this the type of relationship she had with Tupac? Because that's the first thing she said. He felt the void that I have, the, the, the loss I had with Tupac. I felt it with him. So now we know what the, you know, the friendship was like. Or 
Last question. Is August just simply making these things up? You know, has he been, you know, kicked out of the castle? Has he been... Uncle Phil, uh, Uncle Phil used to do Jazzy Jeff, throw the nigga by the seat of his pants and the top of his shirt out the mansion. Now he upset. He want to put her out there. Or he want to embarrass Will by claiming he, he smashed his wife. I don't know, man. But here's the beautiful part of what we do. The beautiful part. The beautiful part is we can talk about it. I need everybody to share like this video. Put it out there. I don't ask for much. I ain't telling you donate a dime. Just some effing and time, that's all. Tell me what you think in the comment section. It's been a pleasure as always. Oh yeah, before I dip, how the hell did I forget this? The most telling thing of all is that I think he, I think he, she pronounced it Cohen or Curran. Jada's middle name. That's a real government middle name. He got the, the text messages in his video under that name. He put our ass on blast, y'all. We out of here. This your homie Gab. I'm signing off. It's been a pleasure as always. I'm about to hit y'all with the peace. Machiavelli in this Illuminati. All through your body, blows like a 12-gauge shot at you.